Hi guys, welcome back to the Watch in the Garage. Today I have a, a cargo trailer that has just a plain Jane wood floors in it. I wanted something that was real nice and real durable. And a quick way to do that is with epoxy floors. So let's get this done. Alright guys, here you are. Uh, this is the product I'm actually going to use. Um, it's called the Rust-Oleum Epoxy Shield. Um, and it's the professional one. Uh, make sure it's a professional. Um, all the reviews I've seen and read, everybody says professional is a lot better. And the reason is the, uh, the other one is a water-based epoxy, and this one is a solvent-based epoxy. Um, so everybody says this is the best stuff uh, you can get uh, within these like uh, little um, epoxy DIY uh, kits like that. Um, so that's why I ended up picking up. I actually had two of these kits. Um, one kit says it'll do 300 to 400 square feet, but I'd hate to be in the right level of the project and need an extra little bit. So I actually bought two kits. Uh, if I don't need it, I'll just return it. Um, but the kit's pretty simple. Um, there's a little, little bit of instructions. Uh, there's a couple little things you need to read over. Um, something about um, the, the, the temperature determines you know how much the dry time is. Um, and a couple of little details. Um, so there's just a part A and a part B. You're going to end up mixing them together. Um, and in the chart on the instructions uh, for my temperature, I'm going to have to wait 30 minutes. Um, that gives it time to activate. And then um, it says to paint all the edges uh, with a chip brush. And then do like little sections at a time. And then uh, if, if, you, if you're wanting to do the flakes like I am, do the flakes. And then roll another section and then do the flakes and flakes. So that's what I got. Um, the extra stuff that I, um, I'm i going to need to do this kit is I'm going to need the five gallon bucket. It's probably one of your most important things because two gallons has to go somewhere to be mixed. So you got the bucket for that. Mix it up. I got a little paint stick too if, if I need that as well. Um, I got a paint roller with a long stick. I got the um, 3 8 nap roll um, rollers. Um, I got some tape. Um, because I'm gonna have to tape off some of the areas that I don't want this uh, epoxy to end up on um, I don't have very few spots because uh, all my walls are gone. So uh, that just easier on me I ain't gotta worry about it so much and then I just got these little um, three dollar chip brushes uh, nothing nothing special there um, But um, that's that's pretty much all you need uh, and as long as your floor is prepped and Right now this is where I'm at in the trailer. Um, I all I did is, you saw, I took all the walls out. Um, so, I, like I said, I don't have to worry about the walls getting all uh, poxy like that. Um, I swept it out, I scrubbed it out, and then I also, um, I sanded the entire floor. Um, I just got some sandpaper. I don't even know what grid I had. Probably 120, something like that. Um, and I just sanded the whole floor uh, just to make sure I got out any, the best imperfections I can. Uh, I am going to have some spots. Uh, I don't know what these little spots because my floor is screwed down. So there's like a little divot there. Um, but I'm pretty sure the epoxy will actually fill that in and go right over it. And I won't have to worry about that. But um, I'm not too concerned about it, you know. Um, but it's just something I, I may discover. Um, so I got the trailer all ready. Did all that. Screwed off. I took the transition plate off between here. Make sure I sanded all that. I planted the, uh, I sanded the entire here because I plan to do this whole area right here. And then there's also the transition that goes from here to the ground, which is right there. I took that off. I'm gonna add the, end up doing both sides of that because it flips down and then it flips the other way. So I'm gonna have to put it on saw horses and I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure that out. But uh, I guess the only thing to do now is let me tape the little bit of areas that I don't want to get epoxy go over the floor one more time um because i did have some staples in these floors so i just want to go back over one more time make sure i didn't miss any staples and then i guess it gets to start mixing and i guess we're gonna start painting and throwing some flakes so uh let's get let's get it going
Alright, here I am. Um, it says get in the pop down bucket, pour the part B in, and then part A, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. Just I'm gonna have to I thought I had a little uh if you had one of those little drill mixes, that'd be awesome, but I have one, but of course I can never find it when I need it, so I'm gonna have to do it the old school, so I'm gonna have to do it by hand, but uh it, it's fine. So um this is one and this is also one of the things once you start it, you don't stop until you're done. So um I warned all my kids and Everything else, saying you're gonna have to leave me alone for a little while. <laughs> so, uh, I guess let's, uh, let's get it going. So, we're gonna do the part B first, pour it all in there, and then part A, and just start mixing. And then, for my temperature and stuff like that, I have to wait 30 minutes and then I start applying it. I'm gonna do the uh, the chip brush on the uh, the outside on the, on the perimeter because my roller, um, I have my roll brush ready to go, um, it won't do that, and then I'll come to the roll. And then I got the chip bag already open. I'm gonna just sprinkle it as I go and uh, do little sections and uh, go from there. So uh, let's go. Part B. Now we go with part A. All right, that's it. Um, I have to wait 30 minutes. That's my time. I'm probably gonna wait a little less because I st I had to hand stir because so a lot of people I see they had the little drill so they they, they blend it a lot quicker. So um, it's seven o'clock. So I'm gonna wait until 7:20, um, and then I'll go there. So I'm gonna go over there while I'm waiting to set. I'm gonna go over and look at my floor one last time, make sure the dogs are put up and everything else, and then. Um, we got to get this stuff going because there's no stopping now. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the edges and then I'll uh, roll the center. And right here I get the flakes and I'm just trying to do like a light even coat. I'm just kind of tossing them up in the air and just trying to get an even coverage of flakes on the floor. Uh, it's a little, it's like a technique. You get a little better. Don't worry about it. If you get too many flakes in one area, it's not that big of a deal.
All right, well, there it is. Kind of hard for to pick up. I tried to get down that, but that's what the whole floor looks like. This is the back portion. It came out pretty good. There's a little, <laughs> I did a little too much right here, but um, the, any excess that won't dry, it'll actually end up, uh, I'll be able to sweep it off, so hopefully it'll clean that up a little bit, but. That's it, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I have to let this stuff dry for quite a bit. Uh, I had to look at the structures again. I, I know it's easily probably like seven hours. Um, then before you can walk on it, I believe it's like two or three days, and then be able to drive a car or anything heavy. I think it's seven days, like that. But um, that's it though. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this up. Yeah, that's it.